Hey guys, The Red Designs here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create this cool looking half tone slash comic book effect uh, with some aesthetically pleasing colors that you can use um, in your designs or photos to make it a really cool effect. And um, it's a really easy um, effect to do, uh, but the hardest part for me uh, personally was to find the right colors uh, to blend in to make this effect. Of course, you can just go with the regular black and white to get also this half tone. But we also, uh, the purpose of this uh, tutorial is to also get uh, the cool colors in here as well. So, first off, just make a new layer, um, any size. I'm going with 1920x1080. And then I'm going to uh, drag this image here that I acquired from uh, unsplash.com they have some uh, royalty free high resolution images that you can use in your designs I promise I'm not sponsored by them um, but uh, first thing you want to do is drag your image in and then control command J to duplicate that layer and then we're gonna uh, uh, hide this layer then we're gonna right click and rasterize our top layer then we're gonna go to filter filter uh, actually before that um, if you want you can use the same colors I'm using uh, which is um, I'm gonna put the hex code here which is this light hot pink and then we're going to be using uh, this warm turquoise uh, I really like it uh, a, a more faded turquoise actually what I meant to say and there's the hex code for you to copy like the exact color and then um, first off I want to teach you what happens when you have a light color over a dark color so it's going to use uh, the swatches that you have on your panel like these would be the highlights and then these um, this color would be the shadows and we don't want that because we want the darker colors to be the highlights and then the lighter colors to be the shadows because um, if we go to filter, all right, select this layer, we go to filter, gallery, this is what would happen and it wouldn't look pleasing at all unless you're going for this effect then by all means. But we're going to invert the colors um, and you'll see what happens if we go to filter, gallery and then we go to sketch and then half tone pattern it creates this cool looking half tone for us and then right now I have the contrast on five and the half tone pattern size on two but you can sh adjust it to your liking for example if you want like huge half tones uh, then you could go you know a lot higher but I don't not really a fan I think two and even one for this like extremely subtle effect would be nice but I think two to make it more noticeable uh, would be fine and then for the contrast uh, you can turn it all the way up to get like an extremely comic book style effect to it but uh, I wouldn't do that I would um, I would try to keep some details of the picture in there uh, so I'm going to go with a uh, contrast of five that's what I liked and chose then we're gonna click OK, and then here we have our image, right? Uh, but let's just say we're using black and white, which would also go well. Uh, so I'm gonna press D to go to my default colors, and uh, I believe if we go to filter gallery. Nope, uh, uh, black as the highlights, and then uh, again darker colors as highlights, and then lighter colors as shadows. Filter gallery and you're getting the black and white effect plus the uh, half tone pattern all in one and again you can go with different colors so we're gonna go with a darker color say red and then for the high uh, for the shadows we're gonna go to with a light blue and then let's try this filter gallery uh, you see here there's a really noticeable contrast in the colors but it really looks cool because right now uh, the girl is the main focus I mean there is some uh, focus here with uh, the shadows being blue here but the main focus would be here your eye would be attracted here and especially like for her hair her entire hair is red 
I think that looks really cool. But I'm going to go with this. Uh, these colors, I really like them for some reason. And I'm a fan of them. And you can apply this effect uh, in any design or any picture uh, that you choose. Uh, I'm just teaching you the basics on how to do this and for you to apply it and become a better designer and that's all for today and this has been another tutorial by the ride designs and i hope you have a good day